everybody! It's Blue and Dog! And for the month of February, I thought I'd do a couple Ultima games. I don't think I'm gonna play any of them through unless they're short. So, this is Cafe Rouge. Do I have to do something? Oh, the alarm glared bright red. It was only 6.30. Get up now. Might as well get up now. <sighs> I'm really not a morning person. Oh, those are character Isis. Sub Isis. Who am I? I did K. I'm not really good at introductions. My full name is Isis. Isis Black. 16 years old in high school and pretty much your average American teen. Except for the fact that I have green hair and big anime eyes. With a few exceptions. But that'll be explained later. Okay. Can I check out stuff? Uh, this is a flash game, by the way, so. Menu. No, I don't want to return to the menu. Sofa. Painting. Ugly painting of birds. In the house. What's up, house? Yawn! Someone's behind you before, before I could look back. I fell to the ground with a thud. Papers flew all over my face. Who the heck was this guy? He looked at me apologetically. So, so sorry. Here, let me, um, pick up these. Oh, it's no problem. Um, let me help. I picked up some papers and notes and handed it to him. He smiled back shyly. Thank you. Are you a student here? I nodded. <laughs> I see. Well, have a nice day. He walked toward the front entrance and disappeared through the door. Who was he? He looked too old to be a student. Soon the halls began to fill with students as more and more people arrived. Class is starting. Stand for the pledge. The announcement started as we did the routine allegiance to the flag. After a moment of silence, we sat down. Now, as you know, last semester I talked about the student teachers coming and taking over for us. What? That doesn't seem pretty at all normal. Fortunately for our, our history class, we have a bright young man from uh, university. Let's go with Loyola. You're from Loyola. Come on in. The doors opened and someone familiar stepped in. They'll be teaching in my absence for the majority of the semester. That's really weird. I don't think anybody does that. So don't treat him like a substitute, okay class? He glared over the class as some of us snickered. Good morning everybody, my name is Ron Davidson. Are you- well, I'll call me Mr. Davidson. You can call me Mac, you can call me Mr. Mac, you can call me- What was that thing most popular girls in school? No, but don't call me Mr. McNeely. I'm a grad student studying to become a teacher. Nice to meet you all. We handed in our homework and began class. As you walked over to me, our eyes met. I smiled. Nice to see you again. Same for you, hehe. <laughs> okay. Class ended quickly. When I got to my locker, someone was already there. Isis! He waved enthusiastically. Man, you should have been to Kemp. Mrs. Hillary dropped almost all the CO2 in the water. Everything started exploding. We almost pulled the fire alarm for real, and then... My wine, my water, not really paying attention to a story. Aw, I wanted to hear it. Science. Meet my LBBFF. Erm, um, little bro, best friend forever. Okay, we're not really related. And he is older than me, but only by a month. Still, he acts like my little bro, and we've been friends since daycare. Hey, you listening, Isis? Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm sort of out of it today. He frowned. He tilted his head and stared closely at Lee. I blinked, turning pink. What? Your face. Somehow it looks... Valon leaned closer, only in his way. Oh my god, get away from me. But Valon, where are you? Then he snagged my notebook. Hey, give that back, you asshole. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we get it then? Kick him. Swing my foot up, I aimed my knee right under his belt. Valon cringed and abruptly fell to the ground, crutching his crotch. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Not really, though. I didn't mean to kick you there. I'm fine, haha. <laughs> was I getting annoying again? He smiled, still cringing in pain. Okay, I was half sorry. But he really is immature sometimes. Need help getting up? Nah, I think I'm managed. You need to go to English class. I sighed with relief as he stood. We waved each other by and headed off to class. The classroom was only a few feet away when a funny smell caught my attention. From across the hall, a flash, 
fresh blood stained the glass shards dropped by some careless person. The warmth drained from my skin as I grew pale. It was making me so nauseous. Learn to- you need to go back to English class. Everything went black. Hmm? A bright white light. Am I at the nurse's office? Oh good, you're awake. Woman was holding my palm, checking for a pulse. Honey, you should really check your glucose more often. I know. No, you don't. These anemic attacks always happen to me. Ever since I was small, I was diagnosed with a strange case of hypoglycemia. My blood glucose level always drops to a dangerous level when I was around blood. Does that actually happen? I don't have hypoglycemia, so I don't know. School's almost over now. Well, maybe a few more. Perfect. Congrats, you missed all of class. And that's my typical everyday life. I pass out, and teachers are replaced. With the exception of my strange condition, the rest is the ordinary life of any normal teenager. But the day isn't over yet. Today was my first job interview. Hmm. Isn't it 2.30 now? Wasn't my interview at 2.40 today? <laughs> just great, just great. Grabbing my bag, I rush off and ran. That's two different tenses! Yes, I was going to be late. Oh, you're going to a cafe, aren't you? So you're going to be latte. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, there's my house. That's not where I want to go. I this way. Up. Um. 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 I'm in the right place. I don't know where I'm going. In the corner of Mulberry Lane. A small sign hung on the side of a scarlet door. Inscribed in dark red letters, the words Cafe Rouge were etched in. At first sight, it looked like your average cafe, accompanied by tea and sweets on round tables. I don't think that cake has a plate. But there was something I missed in the sweet shop of delight. Would I leave this place once I had gone in? Deep inside, may I have a feeling the answer was no. <sighs> well, here I am. Time to go in. I keep forgetting I have to click. Hello? The young girl walked out from behind the counter. Welcome to Cafe Rouge. My name's Candace. How may I help you? Oh, may I help you with something? Oopsies. Um, yeah, I have a job interview. Her face immediately turned sour. Sorry, I know I'm a little late. I was supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. Oh. There was an awkward silence as she examined me up and down. I think you're at the wrong place. This is Cafe Rouge on Mulberry Lane. So you have the envelope address here with my resume and everything else. Well, miss, we're looking for professionals. Not some little high school girl trying to earn some cash and go out shopping for makeup and pretty clothes. Considering your tardiness on the first, not even the first day, actually, you're clearly not qualified for a place like this. Okay, now I'm pissed off. What can you do? All the employees here have at least the basic knowledge of cuisine. Can you even make tea from scratch? Who does she think she is? Oh, you just watch me and see it first and see how professional I am before you say anything, you little bitch. Drag the leaves over to the table to dry. Quick to crush the leaves. Move your mouse. Come on. Ugh. We do. What? This game. Ugh. Oh, okay, you're not supposed to click, that's why. Okay. This is ridiculous. Uh, 
da, 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 da. I don't think you're qualified. It's not a matter of skill or how professional someone is. You see, it's a matter of what you are. We're looking for specific people, and... Now, now, what do we have here? Beyond the red curtains was the grand... Or the grand stage. Uh, that's... A tall gentleman emerged. Swishing his glass of wine, his eyes grew bright with intent as he made his way down the steps. This seems to be the problem, Candace. Suddenly he stopped short. Arriving before us, his attention was abruptly diverted. Glancing me up and down, his eyes grew wider as seconds prolonged. It was... Fear was clear in his eyes, and shock overtook him as he finally settled my face, unable to look away. Yes, this girl, you thought she had a job interview, so as you see, I'm showing her the way out now. Smirking, the girl gave a giggle, expecting a similar reaction from him. To her dismay, he continued to stare in shock, and ignoring her. Look, if I'm not going to get the job, I'll just leave. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Wait. He reached out to grab my hand. You seem to be forgetting that you have an interview. He smiled, and the girl stared at him incredulously. Have you had experience working in a restaurant and waiting? I reckonly shake my head now. Have you ever had a job previous to this? Again, I shake my head now. I opened my pathetic excuse of an envelope and glanced through my resume. Well, everyone does have to start somewhere, and I think everyone deserves a chance, wouldn't you say? Was well, he start saying what I think he was saying? He chuckled at my confusion. Sir, you can't possibly think about hiring a- With one glance, he shut her up. Well then, apologies for the late introduction. My name is Antoine LaRouge. I'm the owner and manager of Cafe Rouge. And what is your name? Isis. Isis Black. Well, now, Isis, how would you like to work as an employee at my cafe? Am... am I hired? With a single nod, Antoine confirmed it. My first job. A fancy sweet shop cafe. This is all too good to be true. This shouldn't be too bad, right? At least I have a pretty uniform, even though I'm the only one who can see it. Sure, all my co-workers ignored me. But hey, maybe that's newbie treatment? But why am I in the kitchen doing the dishes? Everyone else is out waiting tables while here I, while I am here holding a sponge. So boring. Oh, we should work. But if I'd stop now, I'd sure be fired. It's my job. Although I'm sure taking a little break won't hurt. I made my way to the kitchen door. creaked open slightly. Nope. Nothing interesting so far. Wait. What was that? What is that customer doing? I stepped back, growing faint. A familiar scent reached my nostrils and I blacked out. Is she gonna be okay? Who knows? She looks so green. Is she dead? Who cares? Let's just move her before he comes. Speak of the devil. It was too nauseous to open my eyes to, or to open my mouth. Um. Turned my head away and let myself surrender to nausea again. Opening my lids, a bright light greeted my eyes. I was resting on a red sofa. Where was I? Welcome to my office. He stood beside the desk, looking out the window. So now you know our secret. What? The silence filled the room. What secret? But I already knew. The blood, the drinking, the ecstasy, the customers, they sank their fans into the- What? So obvious, yeah, it just couldn't be real. Antoine sighed, turning to me. Yes, Miss Black, we are a vampire cat. But she passed out at the sight of- oh, uh, You automatically assume she knows a- uh, Screw it. While serving the unsuspected people in the day, we serve open only to our vampire customers at night. He looked at my face and gave me a smirk. Frightened? My eyes followed his. What was he going to do with me? Hyperventilating, beat the sweat rolling down my face. Yes, I was frightened. Unfortunately for you, we are now in a predicament. Can't let you leave with our secret without knowing you won't go telling anybody. I prom- I promise? I won't tell anyone. And how I know you'll keep that promise? This person didn't know how to respond. Well, that only means one thing. Today on out, you'll be an employee at my cafe. You work here permanently until you say so otherwise, and you will belong to me. He looked me in the eye. Welcome to Cafe Rouge, Miss Isis Black. Are you serious? Password, key 2834. Ugh, okay, I'm gonna make a note of that. That's ridiculous. Ugh! This is so cliche. What am I gonna do? Do I, do I keep playing? Oh my god. 
Why didn't I see this coming? Ugh. Fine, fine. See you next time. I'll do part two.